Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a few products that I don't like and give you reasons why I don't like them. Um, so yeah, I guess let's not even do an intro, let's just get into it. So the first thing we'll be talking about is this Studio On The Go Makeup Palette in the shade Cool Down. So this is what it looks like on the inside here. They do have some really pretty mauve and purple shades and I really do like the shade selection. As you can see, I have used this quite a bit. Um, but my problem is with this is these don't blend. Um, specifically this shade here, the darkest shade, I find that it doesn't, it is patchy when it blends if it decides to blend that day. And these shimmers are not anything special. I find that they actually flaked off during the day and made my eyes look kind of gone after a few hours, which is why I will pass. I also feel like there's a lack of color selection right down here. I mean, we have two shimmers and one matte and they all kind of look the same so just the overall composure of this palette I don't like because I don't think there's enough uh, matte shades there's one two three so there's four matte shades in this palette and I don't think that's enough because this one and this one are a little too similar for me so this is just one that I would pass on because it doesn't really blend the shimmers flicked off my eyes <laughs> and um, the color section is a little iffy the next product is from Note Cosmetics. This is the Deep Black Mascara, and this is the bottle it comes in. So this is only $10. This is pretty affordable, which is why I was so into trying it. The problem with this is, is it crumbles off. And it's not like it crumbles off. You're like, oh, it's a little bit. Like, it's at the end of the long wear day. This crumbles off within 30 minutes of applying it. And it's to the point where, like, you see black stuff all down your eyes like here and it's like you're trying to wipe it off and it's just that just doesn't sit well with me it also kind of bleeds a little bit depending on what you're wearing because when I don't wear foundation I just kind of like put a little eye cream under it and it makes it smudge really badly even though like with other mascaras that eye cream doesn't have a problem but the wand is really nice this is a really cool wand and I do find that it gives you a lot of volume which is why I was so excited to try this but I could not get past the fact that it crumbled off my eyes because there are some Essence Cosmetics. They have beautiful, beautiful mascaras for $4 or $5 and they don't crumble off like this No Cosmetics ones does. This definitely was not a favorite of mine and I do not recommend this at all. So that's just my thoughts on this poor mascara. All right, next I actually have a, like, a tool, but it's like a sponge. This is the Pure Cosmetics sponge. And it looks like every other sponge has got a nice little a flat edge here for baking if you need or carving out the cheekbones. My issue with this is it will expand. This is dry. It will expand when wet, but it is so hard. It feels like you're punching yourself in the face every time you use this product. And I find that because it's so dense, it doesn't, it doesn't, it soaks up too much product and it doesn't move it around the face well. Like I feel like I have to use extra product with this on top of it punching me in the face. Um, and this is a higher end brand's sponge, so you would hope that because it's going to be a little more expensive than drugstore, it'd be a little bit better. But I find this is comparable to the e.l.f. sponge, the one that's like this, and it's, I'll put a picture of it here. The e.l.f. sponge, because that is also pretty hard, except that's a little bit softer than this, which is saying something. So I heard the old sponges were really nice, which is why I was excited to try this one out, but I don't think that this is worth it. I think I used a L'Oreal sponge for $7.99, and it... It's so soft, it's comparable to the Beauty Blender, so I just think this one is a hard pass. Alright, the next product I'll be talking about is actually a chapstick? Is this a chapstick? Oh, a lip balm. So this is the Pixi Shea Butter Lip Balm. It looks just like this. It matches my nails, oh that's so cute. This is in the shade Sweet Peach, and it actually is like a really nice and pretty color. The problem is this isn't moisturizing. When this is a lip balm, I expect it to nourish my lips and moisturize it as well as having a tint which is why I was like oh this is awesome the problem is it actually dries out my lips like when I apply this I find that my lips get drier than usual and like they kind of crack and flake a bit which is just not what anyone is looking for in a lip um I do like the color on this but I find that if I wanted to wear this I'd have to put another chapstick underneath the lip balm which is just counterintuitive to what you're doing. So um, I will say that this is just a, it just doesn't work for me. Alright, the next thing is also from Studio Makeup. This is the Luminous Loose Powder Blush and it's kind of this peachy shade here. I like this. The color is really nice. I hate that it is in a loose format. 
because I find that you will either pick up too much product or it will get everywhere, which it will because this doesn't, it has a sifter, but look at the sifter's all messy. It's like, I don't know, it, I just don't understand why you would have a loose powder blush of anything. Even loose powder highlights I understand more because you're okay with getting a little bit more product to get a little bit more of a glow. But this just comes out too much and then it's too pigmented on my cheeks and I'm not one for a pigmented blush look. I kind of like it just a natural flush. So that's a little upsetting. Um, so I definitely would pass on this just because too much comes out. The sifter's not that great. The next thing I want to talk about is also from Note Cosmetics. Why wow, I feel so bad. This is the No Cosmetics Hydra Color Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Love Baby. Now this looks like a really cool bubblegum pink, but it doesn't show up. This is the most sheer lip gloss ever. And like I'm into glosses that look nice on your lips, but this is almost a little too sticky for me too. The applicator is nice. But there is absolutely no color payoff from this. So if you're buying this and you're like, wow, this is a gorgeous color. And then I put it on my lips and there's nothing there. And I feel like you could get a ColourPop lip gloss that actually has color on it. And it's only $6.50. Um, so I just think that, you know, if you want a really sheer lip gloss, that's fine. But also, why not try a NYX lip gloss, you know? This one's a little bit more expensive than them. So this is just, I don't like it because it's, it's sheer. And I just don't feel like that's... You know, what if I wanted this on my lips right now? How would I do that? The next thing I want to talk about is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This is the gel eyeliner in the shade black. Quite simply, my problem with this product is it doesn't show up on my waterline. I don't like black eyeliners typically because I think it's just too dark and it closes off my eyes too much. But I was trying this out because I got it in a BoxyCharm and it just doesn't show up at all. Like I, I would dig and really put it into my waterline and I would get no color payoff which is just kind of upsetting because I wanted to like this I want to like everything that I get but the essence cosmetics ones that are like a dollar fifty show up so nicely so instead of that I'd rather get an essence one because it shows up it's weird I just would pass on this another product I will be talking about is this physician's formula what is this mineral wear cushion corrector primer duo I was super excited to try this because I like cushion products I've been really obsessed with the wet n wild mega cushion foundation and like this looks really nice it has a mirror for you and it has one side that's green which I really like because I do have some redness and then this um, yellow side so pretty much you just open it it comes with this little brush which is green on one side and yellow on the other as you can see I've used this one before um, and you would essentially just and apply it to your face. Um, I had two issues with this. My first issue is that there's two colors here. So if I wanted to get just the green, it's pretty difficult in this cushion format because I feel like anywhere I press, even with this, I got some yellow on here as you can see. Um, and that's not what I wanted on my face, that color. So that's my first issue. And the second one is this doesn't show up. It blends itself away to absolutely nothing so that you're not even getting like the cast on your face so you need to cover up the redness. I do love Physicians Formula, but this was just a very hard pass for me. Alright, and the last product I will be talking about today is the Bronze Essentials by Butte Cosmetics. And it looks like, it looks like this. Um, I pretty much don't like this because it's shimmery, and as you guys know, I don't like shimmery bronzers. It's just not a look I like going for. So my issue is that I don't get to choose if I want shimmery or not shimmery because it's right in the middle I kind of always have to choose shimmer but also I think this color here is a it pulls too orange and I don't no one likes an orange bronzer so this was I think like $30 or something and the packaging is also kind of really cheap for that like elf cosmetics has better packaging and their stuff is super affordable but I don't know I just don't like the setup of this. I don't like the colors that are in this. I just don't like this. All right, guys, <laughs> that completes this video. I'm sorry. It was so negative. This is the first time I've ever done like a negative video, but I had these sitting in my closet and I was like, yeah, I'm going to talk about these. Like I, I got to talk about these because I just want you guys to avoid these products if you can. And if you're looking at one of these, I hope you maybe see this video and it's like, mm, maybe I won't get that because I think the one good thing about YouTube is really having people's opinions on products so you could put together what you want to get. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. 
please subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video.